Mina san, konbanwa. Wait a second. It's the wrong kind of stream. Or is it the right kind of stream? Guys, we're doing a another in the fan favorite, the voice of Nick favorite series, Yakuza, today. We're going to be doing Yakuza Kiwami too. I'm really excited for this, guys. Let's get it. If you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused video games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of uh, the game itself or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see what is happening on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat to get a full list of all six concurrent gameplay series going right now, soon to be seven with Yakuza Kiwami 2. If you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button as well. Up top, you see a follower goal of eight. We're currently at three, so the next person to follow will get us to that halfway point. We'll be celebrating on stream. You know we will. The 26th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. It is called Setting Limits for Your Streams. That one's going to help you to uh, establish beforehand what you uh, are and are not comfortable saying on your channel so you don't have to deal with that kind of stuff on the spot. Now, if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 26 weeks in a row, so there is plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by uh, searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Welcome in, everybody. I'm excited. New gameplay series. Let's do it. We are first going to do the ceremonial adding of the game. So can we get some hype in that chat? Exclamation mark hype for this special 4th of July celebratory adding of a extremely Japanese video game. That's what you're supposed to do on 4th of July, I'm pretty sure, is celebrate um, Japan and all of the amazing things about Japan. There we go. Now if you type exclamation mark games in the chat, you'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. Oh, I'm excited. I'm brimming. I'm bristling with excitement. Now, uh, welcome Northlight into the stream first in the chat. Welcome Decav into the stream. I will only watch this playthrough if we get Majima Kami. Oh man, I really hope we do. Decav getting to Konbanwa. We're on the same page. I love it. Little Rock, welcome into the stream. Good to see you. How have you been, Little Rock? What have you been up to? Oz the Boss, welcome into the stream as well. Welcome everybody into the show. Guys, happy 4th of July for everybody who is in the USA. Happy 4th of July as a normal day for anybody who isn't. And happy Yakuza Kiwami 2 day for anybody who has been waiting uh, to see what this game looks like, like me. I'm celebrating Yakuza Kiwami 2 day as well. Now guys, let us jump into the game and see what it has in store for us. Here we go. I am very, very excited for this. Yakuza! Send some hype in that chat, ladies and gents. This is our moment. Ooh. Exciting. And if you can't tell, we're doing it on PC now as well, because these games are now out on PC. So that's nice as well. <laughs> Real Yakuza use a gamepad. That's what we're using. Good stuff. All right, let's uh, let's get it going, ladies and gents. Are you ready for Yakuza Kiwami 2? Start the game from the beginning? I think so. Oh man, I'm excited. Recommended for players who are new to action games or to the Yakuza series. Standard difficulty, players who are skilled at action games. Here we go. Oh baby. Good to put that at the beginning, I guess. Get excited, ladies and gents. Here we go.
Kopala. しじろ、俺は奴らとは関係ないんだ<笑>こっから逃げるんだその子を渡せおじまアイナちゃんってもっちょ<笑>やめろ<笑>いがなちゅっけねばりゃっちょ<笑><笑>何の罪もねえ子死なせちゃいけねえだろフォースの stream クイケンのエクスクレーションマークコンバンワーオーナエクスクレーションマークハイフォースフォースフェリージョインインのショーインヒーウォークメンニューゲームイエスイエスヤクザキワミトゥベイビーアンベリーエクサイデンウォーファイナリーコンティニューインのシリーズイエスルキンリオグッバイドウェイデグラフィコアップデートですタイムエクセレント中国系のチンピラってのしてるのなら話が早い店の金全部出せてめえらに渡す金なんかね力ずくで奪うんなら<笑>俺を倒してからにしな度胸ある日本人ね<笑><笑><笑><笑>一年前のようなとんでもない事件が起きるんすかねそうなってもらいたくねえんだが桐生さんがいてくれりゃ皆さんスターダストの前で揉め事があったそうです相手は関西門かいや
たちの悪い外国人だそうですそうか若いもんに様子見させますか放っておけしかし近頃わけのわからん連中放っておけと言ってんだろうはい何が発端で戦争の火種になるかわからねえんだ関西は本気で関東進出を大見四天王の一人だった寺田がこっちのトップになったんだ向こうからすれば面白くはねえ下手すりゃ東と西の全面戦争になるかもしれんが今はその時期じゃねえ若いやつにきつく言っておけ勝手に跳ねるんじゃねえとなはい<笑>こっちから仕掛けるか待ち受けるか桐生お前ならどうする二十数年俺たちはこの時を待ってたわしにはあんたらの過去などどうでもいい早いとこ派手にドカンと花火打ち上げてくださいそう焦るなこれは闇に葬られた仲間の恨みなんだ俺たちは待っていたんだ復讐の時をただひたすら待っていたんだお前のこと知ったこっちゃないわ余計なおしゃべりしとって盗み聞きされたりしてはりませんでしょうな<笑>問題ない私はこの道のプロだ盗聴することはあってもされることはないまあいいこれだけは言うとくがわしとあんたらは仲間やないカムロ町を日の海にする目的が一緒なだけやことが終わったら赤の他人わかっとるなああまあ期待していてくれ日の海にするだけじゃ物足りないそれだけじゃ無駄死にしていた連中は浮かばれやしない許してくれカズマお前の親を殺したのは俺なんだ一夜でもいい一目でもいいからもう一回カズマに会いたかったその夢が叶ったの<笑>こんなやつに好きにさせてたまるかよ最後のけじめくらい俺につけさせるやめろやめるんだ錦錦<笑>夢かどうしたの怖い顔してなんだはるかかどこ行ってたんだどうしたその花束お墓参りに行くって言ってたでしょああそうだったなおじさんお腹すいたすぐに朝ごはん作るねああ俺も手伝うよいいって私一人でできるからこの一年で上達したんだからね<笑>そうだったな Hard to believe it's been a whole year. People say time heals all wounds, but sometimes they just come, become scars. And being here opens them all up again. We're playing it! I'm here to pay my respects. Oh man, guys. Oh man, guys! He want me too. Nishiki, I hope you're at peace now that the fighting's over. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be standing here now.
Yumi. I'll never forget you. I'm glad I can channel the love I had for you into raising your daughter, though. I hope you're watching over Haruka. She misses you. You guys saying she's adorable? Yeah, she grew up a lot in the one year, too. They did a good job of, like, upping her age without making it too, like, like uh, apparent. But, yeah, I guess she went from being, like, I don't know, 10 to 11 years old. And, like, you can tell that she's a little bit older. Like, clearly is a little bit older, but not, like, overly... Sometimes, you know, in things, they'll make the person be, like, look like they're five years older, even though it's only been one year. Welcome, Stitchings, to the stream, by the way. Welcome into the show. Can we get some exclamation mark highs for people in that chat? Join in the stream. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, baby. Yakuza time. <clears throat> Has a full year passed since Kazuma-san died? Last year had such a huge impact on my life. Oh, here we go. For anybody who hasn't played. Imma もう そんな俺を待ち受けていたのは直系組長の皆さんがいるこの場で三代目に伺います東都銀行の貸金庫にあった組の金百億盗まれたったらは本当ですから表変したかつての親友と消えた百億を狙う屈強な男たちだった
事件に巻き込まれていく俺は風間のおやっさんの言葉を信じ事件と関係するという行方不明の弓を探すだが<笑>そこで出会ったのは一人の少女だった Keep remembering? Damn, guys, this is pretty valuable if you haven't、um, watched the previous game on our channel. This is the entire story of Yakuza 1. Also, pretty useful for us, too, because we played this, the first game over a span of 15 total months. So it's kind of hard to remember some of the stuff that happened at the beginning. I'm going to keep going here.、Uh, oh, Stitching saying your dog and cat are freaking out over the fireworks? Yeah, pretty、uh, intense, probably, for them. Little Rock, a lot of new games? Absolutely. Glad to have you back on here, Little Rock. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you to Queen Aqua for the raid as well. You caught us literally in the sliver of like what would have been like 15 seconds between probably 20 to 30 minute long cutscenes. So good job with that timing. Can we get some hype in that chat for Queen Aqua coming in with the raid? Welcome in, guys.、Uh, Paradox Pixels, welcome Queen Aqua. Welcome Accelerante into the stream. We are playing Yakuza Kiwami 2, first time playthrough. The previous game we never wanted to leave, so it took us 15 months to finish it on stream. Who knows how long this one will take? Let's see what happens. Can we get some love for our raiders coming in? Welcome in, guys. If you haven't checked out Queen Aqua, go follow this link right here. Oh, thank you, Frost Fairy. I guess we have two shout outs for Queen Aqua now、uh, with my extra one there. What were you playing? Detroit. Nice. I hope you are enjoying Detroit. I played a couple of hours of it. I don't own it though. I would like to get it and,、uh, and play it on stream. That game was really cool. I hope you're having a good time with it. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I think David Cage is just an awesome game developer, game director. He's kind of like Ken Levine, where he, like, he truly crafts a video game like, from start to finish, from concept to completion, like, everything you can feel like his mark on the game, like Hideo Kojima as well.、Uh, I really, I'm looking forward to playing all of his games. I've played a little bit of Fahrenheit. I haven't played the one with Ellen Page.、Uh, I played a little bit of Heavy Rain and I played a little bit of Detroit. So I got to finish all of those games, play them all.、Uh, they, they were all awesome what I've, what I've played.、Um, guys, welcome into the stream. Anybody who doesn't know my channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story focused games on here. So you'll notice that I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, which are actually about to come up once again in just a second. But what I do request is because these are called ultra blind playthroughs, I request that no one utilize their own pre existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it. If you want to see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now, including the one we just started like mere minutes ago, Yakuza Kiwami 2. Welcome in, everybody. Quantic Dream has a wonderful writing team. Yeah, they are really, really, really good. I,、uh, I love the sci fi concept for that too, because that's the most like, overtly sci fi one that, that they've done so far. A lot of them had like, magical realism and like, sci fi elements,、um, but this one's like, totally you know, relatively far future sci fi, which I'm super, super into. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the game, and thank you so much for sharing your community with me. I'm going to get some hearts in this chat, and let's enjoy some of the storyline of Yakuza 1. So, what I should mention this is the absolute beginning of Yakuza Kiwami 2, so、uh, you're not really going to see too much far into Yakuza Kiwami 2, but what we're watching right now is in the opening sequence, they show you all of the events of the first game. So, if you're concerned about seeing the events of Yakuza Kiwami 1, then、uh, just be aware that you're about to see a bunch of stuff that、uh, occurs throughout that game. Let's jump back into it, ladies and gents. And once again, thank you so much to Queen Aqua for the raid. Here we go. Keep remembering. Oh, I just noticed that they let me alt tab out of this game. Not a lot of games let you do that. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Decap with those hearts. Frost Fairy with those hearts. Thank you so much, guys, for coming into the show. Can we get some exclamation mark highs for everybody who came in with、uh, the raid, real quick as well?、Uh, to Accelerante, to Queen Aqua, to Picharante, to Paradox Pixels. Thank you so much, guys, for joining the show. And a konbanwa if,、uh, if you're feeling spicy. We do have、uh, Japanese commands as well for anybody who wants to greet in Japanese since this is a Japanese game. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I'm excited. Haruka. Mother, 
ハルカは母親を探すためたった一人で町へとやってきていた単なる偶然の出会いだがそんな少女と俺には一つの共通点があったお前どうするんだこれから私にはお母さんとユミお姉ちゃんだけだからユミ母親を探す少女は俺が探すユミを知っていた俺はハルカとの運命を感じつつ彼女と共に事件を追いかけることとなったお母さんからってこれをくれたわしらがおっとんのはそこのお嬢さんですわ突如ハルカは100億の鍵を握る少女として組織から追われることとなってしまう狙われ続ける毎日俺はハルカを守りながらユミと100億の行方を追ったそろそろ来ると思ってたよそんな時俺たちの前に一人の刑事が姿を現す伊達誠元捜査一課刑事11年前俺を取り調べたことがきっかけで人生を曲げた刑事は失ったキャリアを取り戻すため捜査の協力を要請してきたギリュウ俺は今3代目の世良の殺しを追ってる手風事件を追う元極道と現職の刑事ハルカクソ不思議な縁で組むことになった俺たちの間には次第に友情が生まれ始めるしかし桐生一馬誘拐の現行犯として逮捕する捜査一課課長須藤にマークされた俺たちは行き場を失ってしまう伊達さんああ遅くなって悪かったなあんたこんなことしたら逃げるぞ桐生警察との板挟みになった伊達さんは俺たちのために警察を捨てた Keep remembering. I love that they give you these breaks where it's like, <laughs> this is basically made for like, if someone raids your channel or if you have to go to the bathroom, you get a chance to like stop for a second. Oh, cool. Little Rock saying your mom's been having a Twitch Playbook podcast, 4th of July marathon listen with you today. That's amazing. I hope you've been enjoying it. We're up to、uh, this most recent one is entry number 26, which、uh, is pretty significant for us because I guess I'll go on the big screen here. 26th entry, this newest、uh, one that came out last Friday. Is the、uh, pretty significant one because it marks an exact half year of Twitch Playbook episodes coming out every single week. So that's pretty amazing that it's been going for six months already. I'm, I'm really happy about that. And、uh, another one's coming out tomorrow as well. So that's going to be good.、Um, welcome in Gaming Hour to the stream、uh, as well in the show. And、uh, guys, let's play some more Yakuza in here. Yoink. Keep remembering. Yes. Oh, thank you, Gaming Hour, for that playbook link as well. The fact that 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 the fact その島の組の枠頭を務める男、マジマゴロ。よう、キルちゃん、探したで。歴戦の修羅場をくぐり抜けた者たちとの戦いは、壮絶を極めようとしていた。そして、10年前死んだ道島総兵の妻、弥生。道島をやったのは、お前なのかい。彼女の一言は、俺に重くのしかかった。
だがそんな俺にも利害を超えた協力者が現れたホストクラブスターダストのオーナーカズキそしてホストのユウヤ大見連合の寺田風間のおやっさんに導かれた出会いは俺に勇気を与えてくれたそして彼との出会いが俺とハルカを事件の真相へと近づけさせた桐生一馬出所早々派手にやってるみたいだな通称サイの花屋カムロ町の地下に根付く伝説の情報屋出るぞ桐生セレナの映像だ花屋の情報を得た俺たちは事件を陰で操る男の存在を知ることとなる花屋によるとこいつは政府の地下組織のものじゃないかってことでなその線で調べてたら出てきたんだ内閣府の地下組織 MIA ってのがな登場界から消えた100億それは一人の政治家が関係していた神宮強兵消えた100億はこの男が登場界に預けた資金だった金を生み出すために登場界を利用し続けていた神宮100億強奪はそんな神宮から登場界を守ろうとした人間たちによるものだったその犯人はカズマ金を盗んだのは弓と俺とセラなんだついにたどり着いた事件の真相だがハルカおやっさん島野から命がけでハルカを守った風間のおやっさんは風間さんおやっさん事件のすべてを俺に告げると遺言状だ許してくれ風間お前の親を殺したのは俺なんだいいんだいいんだおやさん俺にとっちおやさんが本当の本当の親父でした隠し続けていた俺の秘密の過去を明かしこの世を去っていった。Oh, Little Rock saying that you love the latest podcast. That's very good to hear. Oh, Gaming Hour saying you've been here since the start. I didn't see you in the chat, Gaming Hour. Oh, maybe you've just been hanging out,、uh, doing a bit of the old lurking. Appreciate it. Yeah, I always like to say hi to everybody when they join the chat because obviously there's not really a way for me to, to detect whether somebody's been here but hasn't been talking. <laughs> Pulling up a quote. This one's more wily than a slippery snake. The storyline sure is. Let's keep going. Here we go. I don't know. そこには弓が待っていたそしてハルカが探していた母親はよかったなハルカ弓だった帰りなさい親子としての再会だがそのつかの間の幸せが長くは続かなかったんなんだやってきたのは100億を取り戻しに来た神宮強兵だった神宮は登場界に見切りをつけ関西の組織近江連合と手を組むことで日本の裏社会と表社会を牛耳る計画を立てていた神宮は風間のおやっさんの協力者だった近江連合本部長寺田を罠にはめどどういうこと俺たちの前へ立ちはだかったそうだだがな、なに弓もうこれで、あなたは私を撃てないこれが爆発すれば、店の中にある100億も一緒に消えてなくなる弓の命がけの勇気とおやっさんから受け継いだ意志を胸に俺は
登場回四代目桐生カズマだ俺たちは神宮を打ち破ることができたしかし全てが終わったと思われた時そこに現れたのは終わったかこれでようやく落ち着けるな錦10年という時を経て変わってしまった俺たちは戦い合うしかなかったそしてPretty well summarized version of the game. しかし関西の連中に待ち伏せされていたらここは人の魂が安らかに眠っとるところやそこを血で染めるような下品な真似はせんやろしかし柏木の頭から保護に抜かりはないようにと言われておりますので一人で差しで話をしたいもんがおるんやお前らいつでも道具は抜けるようにしとけはい自分だけが残っちまったんでしょうかしかし仇となった今は遥かを立派に育て上げるつもりです四代目寺田お久しぶりです一人で来るとは武用人だな若い者は向こうで待たせてありますどうしても四代目にだけはお話ししておきたいことがありまして四代目はよしてくれ俺はもう仇だで何の話だ実は近江連合の郷田会長と杯を交わそうと思っております杯近江連合との全面戦争を避けるにはもはやそれしか方法が
そこまで登場会は追い詰められているのか1年前のあの事件で登場会の内部はガタガタです戦争となればまた多くの血が流れ登場会は近江連合に乗っ取られてしまいますそれだけは何とか下げたいとお前と合田会長では格が違う向こうがその話を飲むとは思えんがな十二分に承知しておりますがしかし寺田登場会の五代目はお前だ敵の俺が口を挟むことじゃねえ先代なら登場会のこの危機をどう乗り越えるかご意見をお聞かせください先代寺田藩の首いただきに来たんや関西の送り込んできた鉄砲玉か登場会のボディーガードは脇が甘いですなうちの組員たちのあとは穴掘って埋めるだけですわなんやとここは墓地や運ぶ手間省けてええんとちゃいますかはるかと逃げてくれしかしその体に登場界の未来がかかってんだ<笑>俺が相手になってやるお前らに極道の礼儀ってもんを教えてやるぜ Yeah baby first fight <laughs> A double finisher. Can we get some hearts for our first fight? Give me your best shot. Aha. Middle Rock Frost Fairy, Peer to Beer getting those hearts. Welcome, Peer to Beer, to the stream, by the way. Can we get an exclamation mark combo on for Peer to Beer joining the show? Oh, okay, we can move. Oh, focus on a single target, okay. Oh, that's new. Charge your attack like that. Press Y when you see the flaming heat icon. Where is that? Oh, is that the thing above me? Where's the heat icon? Feel the heat. Daijoka. Kasri kids, this one. ついてみないとわかりませんが
おそらく出血多量が原因かと私しばらくひまわりに行ってる大切なお仕事があるんでしょお仕事が終わったら迎えに来てね私、東条会五代目、寺田幸雄は、近江連合五代目、郷田会長と兄弟のちぎりを交わし、これをもって、長きにわたる構想の終結を強く望むものであります。まさかこの書状を関西に持っていくつもりですか大工落ち着け親の玉を取った相手のところに出かけていって杯かわしてくださいなんて笑い話にもなりませんでしょうがじゃあお前は五代目の敵を討つというのやられたらやり返すそれが極道です兄弟あんたが勝手に動いてとばっちり食うのはごめんだケツまくるってのか戦争すんにも金が必要なんだよ金金金っておめえには極道のメンツがねえのかおだまりカンサイへ行くつもりだね五代目との約束ですアネさんこの一件自分に任せてもらえませんかキリュウあんたも全面戦争は避けるべきだと考えてるんだねはい向こうが話を飲むとは思えんがそれも承知の上ですですがこれは寺田の遺言なんです下手したら殺されるよ覚悟はできていますまさか高田会長と差し違えるつもりじゃないだろうね相手の出方次第では。あんたまだ十一年前の同時も殺しのことにこだわってるのかいあれは錦山がやったことだろうあんたの責任じゃない錦とはガキの頃から一緒でした血のつながった兄弟よりも絆は強い錦の残した借りは自分のものです止めても無駄だねすみません分かったこの件はあんたに預けよういやしかし姉さん本当ですかでもそれじゃ近江が考え直すことはできないんですかキリュウは登場会のために命かけるって言ってんだ文句あるやつは今前に出な杯の話が決裂したら後戻りはできない東と西の全面戦争だよ前もこれでいいねはいですが一つだけ頼みがあります行ってごらん関西に行く前にどうしても会いたい人間がいます誰だい道島大吾です道島組長とあなたの息子さんですどうしてだ寺田が死に登場会は柱を失った今の登場会を立て直せるのは奴を置いて他にはいませんあいつは暴力や権力に絶対に屈しない男です今の登場会には
そうした男が必要です遺言代わりってことかいそう取ってもらって構いませんあんたですから関西に行く前にどうしても大悟に会っておきたいんですよした方がいいなぜですか大悟はもう昔のあの子じゃない何があったんですか Damn. A lot of stuff's going down. Peter is saying Captain Janeway. I don't know Star Trek. Starship Voyager. That's Star Trek.、Uh, yeah, I haven't seen that one. Daigo was in the game, so he was in the game. Yes. Go on, I'm going to get you. あんたが無所にいた頃の話さあいつは父親の堂島をあんたに殺されたと思って荒れていったそれでバカやらかしてねバカ関西に手を出したんだよそれで捕まっちまったんだ服役して今は出所してカムロ町に帰ってきてるが毎日浴びるように酒飲んじゃバカみたいに遊んで暮らしているよあいつは力の入らない人形みたいになっちまったんだまあ会ってみればわかるさダイゴドジマ Well, let's see what I can find out Oh, ladies and gentlemen We are back in Kamurocho, ladies and gentlemen! Can I get some hype in that chat? Exclamation mark hype! Oh my, we have an email in our phone now. Good stuff. Welcome to Yakuza Kiwami 2. My name is Kiwami Bob from the Tips newsletter. I'll be explaining all the basic details of the game as you make progress. Be sure to check back here if there's anything you don't understand. Oh, we can save it. Good stuff. Ooh, quick saves as well. And they tell you how long you've been playing. Another very good feature. Oh my, ladies and gents. Alright, let's do a quick little bit of a settings adjustment, real, real fast. Okay, we want to go to. Let's set shadows to medium. Let's set some SSAO to off, I guess. Let's do some anti aliasing off. Damn, this game is hard to run. Me, computer, thank you for the cheer. Hold on a sec, let's finish our、uh, graphics things. Can we get an exclamation mark cheer in that chat? Thank you to me, computer, for the cheer. Real time reflections, maybe? I'm wondering what the thing is that causes the issue. Motion blur, let's just turn off everything and then check it. You can always turn it all back on. Oh no, it's just a CPU thing, I guess. Yeah, that's just the way it runs. Well, alright then. We're gonna leave SSAO off. Well, let's turn it on for now. Good stuff. Let's jump into this and do a cheer voice. Welcome, me, computer, into the stream as well. Get a kombawa for me, computer, joining the show. We're playing Yakuza Kiwami 2. How about this one? Right about here. My name is the acting chairwoman of Tojo Clan. I have 10 chairs, and they're all stacked on top of each other. And if anybody crosses me, I make them sit on the top of all the chairs, and then I pull one of them out from the bottom, and then they fall over and they say, Oh, that hurt really bad. Why'd you make me do that? I said, You shouldn't have crossed me. I'm the acting chairwoman.、Um, I act, and I, I act by pulling out one of the chairs. I also, in my free time, like to make、um, houses of cards, and I glue all the cards together, and then I slam a guy's head into the cards because they're like special cards made out of metal, so then it really hurts and it leaves a big scar on their face. 
that's that's what I do in my free time. It sounds also like business, but it's not. It's for me. That stuff's for me only. That's acting chairwoman of the Tojo clan. Good stuff. Of the Tojo clan. Thank you to me, computer, for the cheer. It is highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a Voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new Voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, 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 verse. Thank you to me, computer. It is highly appreciated. And welcome into the stream. Let's uh, jump back into Yakuza right here and see what we can do. Here we go. I'm going to turn off V-Sync, I think. Let's limit FPS at 120. We'll turn off V-Sync. Whoops. Or limit FPS at 60 is what I meant. Okay, cool. Oh, can I go to the vending machines now? Oh, baby. Oh, baby! Rich tea? Oh my god, we can actually like buy the different... Oh, wow. Forest Meltwater, Poseidon Power. Oh my god. Tea. Wow. Do they have Pokari Sweat? They do not have... Oh wait, that other machine might have it. That looks more like Pokari Sweat. No. But they do have Boss. Boss Black? I like Boss Black. CC Lemon. Suntory Mineral Water. I remember Suntory from the first game. I don't remember if that's a real thing. Here we're saying Bacardi Sweat. Not Bacardi Sweat. Pokari Sweat is uh, Japanese. It's kind of like mineral water. It's really good. If you can get over the idea of drinking sweat. It's not actual sweat. Welcome Chuckster, or rather thank you Chuckster for the host. Here we go guys. Yakuza time. That says Pachisro, Pachi Slot. Information area. Remember these places? <laughs> wow, look at that. Physics objects. Good stuff. Where's the guy who gives the information? That says uh, Joshitsu, but I don't know what that means though. That says cafe. There must be a cafe up there. Can we go into it? No. Where's the guy who gives the info? Who knows? Everything is shining! Oh man. Aha! There's a thing on the ground. Found a key for the Taihei Boulevard coin lockers. Good stuff, guys. Key E3. Well, all right. Son. Beer Alvin. Slot house. Wow. Karaoke place, nice. Castanet. Castanet, is that a thing? Karaoke Castanet is what it says. Love Bunny. Sexy Kabare Kabakura. Kabakura? It's a sexy Kabakura. Whoa, they have like full interiors of buildings now. That's crazy. Look at we can go in this whole place. Yeah, baby, get more coin locker stuff. Oh my god. This is great. We can actually use elevators now, which you were never able to do in the uh, in the first game, really. So is this showing me what's on floor 1F, 2F, 3F? Let's see. If it's like real Japan, yeah, it says 2F right there. That's Love Bunny. What's 3F? I'm not sure, but usually it's outside the building. You can see a big sign. Yep, there it is. So if you're ever in Tokyo, you just look up. They don't tell you what's on the second or third and fourth floors. Sitting so saying that sushi looks good. Where do you see sushi? There's a lot of stuff. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, you're right. 
I like all the uh, the real photos and stuff they use. Oh man, this is great. So we could just walk up to this place, or we could use the elevator. I'm gonna have to figure out how to optimize this properly, but otherwise, can we actually go into it? Oh my god, wait. Is this, do we find the, uh, the place where we're gonna romance the ladies again, like in Yakuza 1? Hello. I don't think we can talk to anybody. Wow, a lot of people are saying stuff. <laughs> toilet! No, there's no toilet. Oh wait, this way is the toilet. Get out of the way! I need to go to the bathroom. Well, too bad for you. Oh! There's something on the ground. Silver plate. Oh, what a game. What a game, ladies and gents. It's Yakuza. Guys! We have much Yakuza to do here. I'm gonna get some more coffee and let's play some more of this amazing video game. I'm already very excited. Get some hype in that chat and I'll see you in just a sec with more Yakuza Kiwami 2 coming right up. Don't go anywhere.
I am back. And while I was getting coffee, I looked up a little optimization guide for Yakuza. So let's take a quick interlude, ladies and gents, and uh, see if we can do a couple of things in this game. Here we go. I'm going to pull up my NVIDIA. Oh, OK. We have a couple of things we can do here. I'm going to pull up our NVIDIA control panel real quick. Yeah, unselect the desktop as well. Uh, welcome everybody into the stream. Frost almost done with the picture? Nice! That's amazing. Can we get some hearts in that chat? For that. And we are going to... Actually, I can put hearts in the chat as well. Thank you, Frost. Program settings. We're going to pick out Yakuza. We might have to close the game to do this, though. So we did save it, right? Let's just save it really quick. You have not saved manually. Yeah, I did save. I saved. I think they were lying about that. <laughs> okay. Now, let's look at our customization stuff here. Ah, good old optimization. We want to make sure that this is good because obviously we're going to be spending a lot of time in this game. We don't have to worry about frame rates and stuff. Okay, so I could just all F4 it, but I'm going to do it properly. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to open up Yakuza. Kiwami 2. Where are you, Yakuza? I'll probably have to add it into the list. Oh, there we go. And now, monitor technology. I don't think I have that. Maximum pre-rendered frames. This is all the good stuff. I guess I could show you what the screen looks like if you're interested in what this kind of stuff, how this kind of stuff works on a PC. Max pre-render frames is two. Threaded optimization on. Usually the global setting is gonna be this anyway, but sometimes you wanna do it. Power management, optimal power. We wanna say max performance. That's definitely new. Decap getting those hearts. Peter, you're getting those hearts. Thank you guys. Multi-display mixed GPU acceleration. I don't think we have that. I don't think that's in here. Triple buffering's off. Texture filtering is quality should go on performance. For anybody who's not a PC player, this is sometimes the stuff you do when you want to make a game run better. And the interesting thing is that you could just turn it all down and it'll basically match what the console looks like. But when you're playing on PC, you typically want to try and get better uh, results than the console would give. Let's see, power management to highest performance. We did that. Oh, to highest, yeah, highest performance. Welcome Vince Sanity to the stream and thank you for the host. Welcome in. Multi-display mixed GPU acceleration. Do we have that? I don't see anything that says that. OpenGL rendering, I think that's everything. So now we can apply this. And what else? We had wanted to do in the task manager as well, increase priority, which you, I believe, have to do every time. Search for the process of Yakuza Kiwami 2, and then set priority to high and change update speed to high, whatever that is. Going back in it. 
Priority to high. Update speed, where is that? Oh, click on the view tab, where's view? Update speed high. Okay, now we'll give this a shot. And then after that, we give a couple more graphics ideas a shot. We're basically good. I mean, I think we're going to be good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oops, that's my phone. Oh, look, we have all these auto saves. 5218, 5223. That's what we want. Okay. Now we're playing it. What is that? I don't know what that machine is. Can we keep going up? Yes. This is what it's always like. You have to go up a big bunch of floors. Oh, this is another place. No, I need to find Daigo. Oh, it's a, is this a Mahjong parlor? Cool. Look, there's a video game picture here. Look, they have the coffee machine and everything. Oh man. All right, we can't play it yet though, I guess. We have to wait. Kiryu will not let this stand. Guys, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. As expected, I suppose. Okay, we wanna turn off uh, real-time reflections, I'm gonna say, and let's turn on render scaling to like 85%. And this is gonna make it look kinda gross, but better than not doing it. Render scaling is going to actually like lower the innate resolution of the game. And we might be able to, once we turn on render scaling, turn the graphics back up. Or turn the uh, anti-aliasing on and stuff to kind of fix that. Oh wow, that was pretty seamless. Oh yeah, you can definitely detect that render scaling. But this definitely runs better than it did a second ago. Hold on, let's just take a quick look. Real-time reflections might have done it, or render scaling might have done it. I'm guessing it was render scaling. It could have been, eh, maybe a mix of both. So if we turn on Render scaling with, let's turn this to 80%, and let's turn anti-aliasing on. There we go. Ramen. Can I go in? No. I can knock over this chair though. Oh, there's Stardust, look at that. Okay, I recognize this part of the city then. Manga. Oh, is this a, a comic book store? Okay, I wanna see if there's anything we can do to not have to use render scaling though, because it really looks gross. Turn off these two settings, which are usually just absolute hogs. There's Popo. Look at that, we can just walk right in. That's a major difference between the first game and this one. Oh, but look, we can't look at the magazine rack anymore. Drink. That's what that says, in case you're wondering. vertical sync on maybe with the FPS limit. That might do it. 
Yeah, baby. Get some hearts. Irashai wase. They are doing it again. Oh, now you get to see all these. Wow, this is a way improved menu for this stuff. Oh man, what do you want? What do you want? Frost ready to get those Irashai wase hearts. All right, do they have any? Uh, they do not have any uh, uh, karage at this one, which is a bummer. Usually at these kind of convenience stores, they have really good one. But this one is spaghetti and meat sauce. Let's buy that. Oh, and look, you're filling out like a cart. Get a pork tonkatsu, bento, get a toughness. And then you just purchase it. It's the back button to purchase. That's interesting. Look, there's the thing. Wait, they have, <laughs> they have karage. It's right there. I can see it. Look, it's a chicken on the box. That's the good stuff. These convenience stores. It's not like going to Seven Eleven where they have like a bunch of crap that's gonna make give you a stomach ache later. In Tokyo um, convenience stores, they have really good food like that's made at the store. Just a little uh, pro tip for you. Do you guys think, but do they have Gundam models? You usually no. <laughs> but maybe, sometimes. Maybe DVD video comic would have it though. Red Zone, 18. Oh my god, wait, is this like a... This is one of those places that would have a picture of Goku from Dragon Ball Z on the front, but it is not Goku. Oh look, they're saying 18, TV, big something TV, maybe big screen, coffee, Perfect private room and soundproofing room. You already know what's going on in there. And if you don't, please don't ask. <laughs> Hungry? Go down to Soup on Street and get some soup. But dum ching. <sighs> don't quit your day job. If you gotta say, but dum ching, the joke's dead on arrival. Maybe you ought to take some classes down in Osaka. <laughs> wow, that's kind of fun. That's new. Station. Oh, this is the, um, info place again. This is also running a lot better than it was a minute ago. So what did we turn off? We turned off, I think, the real-time shadows and I just want to make sure we know what we changed. We turned off real-time reflections, we turned off SSAO, and we turned on anti-aliasing. We have textures on high, shadow, geometry on medium. Okay, good. Yeah, it's, it's sticking at normal frame right now. Good. Cecil Cafe. I think I better head down Nakamichi Street. Okay, so they're still doing their like tutorial thing. Guys, this is really good. Guys, this is really, really good. Did I mention, guys, that this is really good? Video Doki Doki box. All time, all time price, I guess, Osume. 500 yen for 60 minutes. I don't know what Doki Doki means, but I know about a game that has Doki Doki in the in the name. Night Kos, 2,500 yen. Do you guys think there's one more game stream? Yes, there is. There is one more game stream coming up later. Jungle Boy Manga, Internet Comic DVD Cafe. Yeah. I hear there's a crazy fight going down on Yak Nakamichi Street. Another drunk-ass Yakuza with a bad attitude. Here he kicks your ass if you even make eye contact. Oh, yeah, I heard about him. Nakamichi Street, huh? I should probably check it out. You guys saying, what a game. I feel like I say that every five seconds, but honestly, what a game. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of those. Holy crap. Guys, I hope you are ready. We've been preparing for 111 episodes possibly even 112 episodes of Japanese Duolingo. Now we can all read the signs together. This says uh, Net Cafe. I like this font, that's kind of nice. Os, Oscaru. I don't know what that means. Os, Oscar, Oscar Net Cafe. The Peach Club, Girls Bar, Private Room, 48. I don't know what 48 means. All you can drink. All right, let's see if there's a building we can actually go in. Internetto manga DVD. Look at that! I like that sign. That's fun. Man, they have so many more signs in this game. 
Oh my god. I won't read out all the different random like quotes and stuff that are coming up, but you can obviously see them if you want to read them for yourself. There's an insane amount of like just like life brimming all around the level where they have these like quotes of things people are saying. And I really prefer this to the way they do it in a lot of other games. Like Red Dead did it well where the audio would kind of like focus on the one person that, you know, you're supposed to hear. But in like The Witcher, it for as amazing as that game is, it'll like play like a million audio clips at the same time. It's hard to it's hard to understand what's going on. Guys, look at this. This is a, a fine detail right here. Ready? Yoink. He's going over the bar. What game do you see that in? I don't even have to press a button. He just does it. I found another Taihei Boulevard key. Oh my god. Do you guys think where's my boy Majima? We did see him in the previously on, so I'm guessing that that means, you know, like when you watch a TV show and it says like previously on and it shows the guy, uh, you, usually that means the guy's gonna come back that episode. I'm guessing hopefully Majima shows up. Rich T. Okay, all of these will restore health. I love that you can get stuff from the vending machines in this game. Butatuki. Can I go in here? No. Oh my god, guys, oh my god. Oh, something's going down. Smile Burger. Boy. Is there a problem here? Uh, help me, please. Uh huh? Huh? Who the hell are you? Mind your own business and piss off. You keep your mouth shut, Honda. Or are you trying to die? Uh. Uh. Huh? You got an attitude problem? Maybe we'll get warmed up on you then. Here we go, guys. Oh, ruthless thugs wander the streets looking to pick fights with anyone who even looks at them the wrong way. You can choose to run away from these thugs, but you'll earn money and XP if you teach them a lesson instead. Oh man, guys, I forgot how much I loved Yakuza. Grab and then throw. Oh wow, they really expanded that. Wow, look at the way you do that. That was great. Oh, we can pick stuff up? I suppose I always knew that. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, man. Weapons with a thing over them, as opposed to the normal down, can be stored after you grab them. Grab a weapon with B and then store it with down. You'll lose the weapon, just like other grabbable objects, if you don't store it before the battle ends. Whoa, what happened? Oh, they're showing me something here. Select the equip slot from the left side of the screen. Then choose a weapon you wish to equip from the inventory on the right side of the screen. You can choose these at any time from the pause menu. Okay. Oh, look at that. Got him. Damn, I just cut those guys for nothing. I guess the other ones had had a bunch of uh, weapons. You can spend EXP to boost Kiryu's base stats, such as health, attack, or even learn battle skills to grant you new actions. There are some skills you cannot access at the moment. You must meet certain requirements to unlock these skills. For the time being, try learning Strong Charge Attack from the Battle Skills page. Wow, this is new. Look at all this. So this is a totally different interface. Honestly, probably for the best because... Yakuza Kiwami 1 had a really confusing uh, skill menu. Look at all these skills! Oh my god! Okay. Powerful charge attack. Press hold down Y. Hold down while running. Okay. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. I'll remember this, Honda. Thank you so much. What happened? See, I asked this guy to settle his tab, but then his goons got up in my face. Mm. Who? The guy with the tab, I mean. Some Yakuza punk named Daigo Dojima. He was headed towards the theater, but I'm sure he's long gone now. Oh, oh, oh and thanks for saving me there. You can have this. 
A red binding, nice. So I could probably equip that. <laughs> Look at this giant traffic cone. That looks like Majima. Aha. Select the equip slot from the left side of the screen, then choose something you want to equip from the inventory on the right. Equipping armor can raise your defense and in some special cases activate special effects. You can get special equipment bonuses if you equip certain combinations of items. Nice. Oh man, guys. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. What a game. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Kiwami Bob here. Let's talk about saving your game. When you want to save, pause from the game and select save from the menu. Please note you cannot save during battles or events. Select continue from the title screen to jump right back into your most recently saved game. Kiwami Bob again. Today I'll be telling you all about the map. The mini map displayed in the top, bottom left corner of the game screen will show you points of interest, enemies, and streets you can go down. You can also view a full city map by pressing back. Use both maps in conjunction to figure out where you're going and how best to get there. Kiwami Bob here again. Do you know about sprinting? If you ever want to move a bit faster, hold A to sprint. You can't sprint forever though, so make sure you release A every so often and catch your breath. You can upgrade your sprint stamina in the pause menu. Dragon of Dojima. You must be comfortable with the basics of battle if you ever hope to survive this harsh world. Rush combo, finishing blows, double finishes, charge attacks, throw attacks. That is all. <laughs> Who's the man in black? I want to know about him. You really saved my ass, man. Oh, if you're looking for Daigo Dojima, I saw him head toward the theater. Oh my god, guys. Look at that burger! Smile Baga. Smile Burger. Oh, there it is. Oh, we can go in. Let's buy a Smile Burger. Oh my god, guys. Iced tea. It says iced tea. Okay. Can we go to the second floor? Okay, they got all sorts of stuff on the menu here. Smiley menu. Menu. Smiley burger. Baga. King baga. Teriyaki baga. Teriyaki burger. Something. I can't read that kanji burger. I think it might have fish. I think that's the kanji for fish. Maguro baga. I believe Maguro is a uh, tuna. Drink. Desato. Origin. Naru. Brendo. Kohi. Original blend coffee. So. Soda. Damn, guys. We got a lot of stuff to read in this game. Can we get some hearts? We got an irashayamase in there. Oh my god, look how good this food looks. Guys, can I buy all this food? All right, we gotta get a Smile Burger. We gotta get a Teriyaki Smile Burger. Gotta get... Man, how much money do I have? Oh, so look at the picture on the left. It's a picture of our stomach. <laughs> Onaka ga suki deshita. That means I'm hungry. Oh, tuna burger. That was what I was thinking. I was saying maguro. Did I say tuna? I think I did. So I was right about that. Smile shake. Filling up that onaka, baby. Popular. Smile salad. Well, we gotta fill, fill up our stomach. Kiryu will be full if he eats any more. Eating while full will replenish health, but will not grant any extra effects like EXP or bonuses from menu combinations. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, hold on. How do I get rid of items? Cancel? No, but how do I get rid of the items? Uh... I don't know. Oh, I could just click on it and then it'll get rid of it. Okay. So now we have 83 out of 100. Thank you, Decap, for those hearts. Guys, this game is everything I wanted it to be. Oh, man. Umayna. Umayna. I mean, it's delicious, as you probably guessed. Look at that. It shows you the bonuses you're getting. Oh, look, I'm getting XP. Look, there's a reading XP. Why is there a reading XP? <laughs> oh, I got a bonus for Smile King. Oh my god, guys. Is that say what I think it does? Yes, it does. You know what this format says? Irashaimase! I need to see if we can go upstairs here. 
Kiryu, I see you looking at your watch, but you know what? <laughs> we have more important things to do here. Do you guys think you gotta read that nutrition information, Nick? That's true. I wonder if there's actually a sign that says what the combos are if you like look at the you know menus or something. I feel like this time playing the game as well, I'm much more adept at like reading things than we were last time when I wasn't like actively learning again. So I'm really enjoying all of the reading that we're able to get done here. This is a very good time, guys. I know there's a mission in this game and stuff, but this is the game for us. This is the game as far as it's concerned, <laughs> as far as the Voice of Nick channel is concerned. Do you guys think you knocked over a chair? I know, I'm being a real jerk, aren't I? Oh no, Club Sega has been shut down. What? Maybe it'll be back later. Oh wait, can I go in the door? Oh, it ain't shut down. They just wanted to put a thing over the area so that they didn't, so that people wouldn't look in the windows. Version A, Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown. I wonder if Virtual Fighter 5 was out in the year 2006. It might have been. No, I need to find Daigo. They have Blast City. Virtual On Machines? Oh my god, that's an actual game. I've never seen Blast City, but that might be real too. I love Virtual On. Oh crap, I wonder if you can play it in this game. Look, that's like actual attract screens from Virtual On. That's it right there. So look at this game. This is a really cool game because you held two different joysticks that you'd like control the robot with. Uh, I always loved that when I was a kid because it made me feel like I was actually controlling a Gundam. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. This is a city full of wonders. To, ma, re. That probably means stop, because that's the kanji for stop. That might be ne. I can't really tell with the uh, the way that it's formatted there. I think it'd be tomare. Look at this giant traffic. Doesn't this look like something uh, Majima would be inside of? Unfortunately, it's not though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh look, they have the places with the food outside of it. This is my favorite thing about uh, Japanese restaurants is that, or like Japanese kind of like quick restaurants, is they'll have previews of what the food looks like. So you can see like these fake versions of the food sitting outside and they're always really um, delicious looking. Oh look, there's a guy with a sick mask on. Hello, sir. Oh, look, it's a place where you order in a in a machine. This is also an amazing thing about Japan is like the guy behind the counter is not there to take your order. You actually order at a machine where you press all the buttons for like what you want. So like if we're looking at this machine here, the third one from the right says kare rice. So like curry rice. And then let's see what I can read there. Some of it's a little too blurry, or I might not know the kanji. Uh, one across, four down says kitsune, which means fox, but I believe that it might be some other kind of animal. Uh, it might be chicken or pork. I've seen kitsune used to describe a uh, type of food. But basically, like you combine all these buttons together to make like the order you're getting, and you'll get like eight different you get like eight different tickets that print out and then you give them to the guy and he'll like, you know, give it to the chef. So it's like a really cool way to order stuff. Let's do it. I, b I wonder if we can actually just do it. Oh, so he's just, in this game, they're not actually, you know, they're not actually making us uh, order at the machine, but it's a really cool interface. The only problem is if you can't read Japanese, you might be in trouble because they're usually not translated. Oh man, Korean rice, yeah. some soba. 
So we're at exactly 100 here. All right, I think we're allowed to do that. See, if we go above, we don't want to do that. So we're going to just do hot soba. I just want to watch them eat all their food. <laughs> the food looks so good. Man, I was just in Little Tokyo. Now I want to go back. of a thing. Holy crap. Siata Maron. Kamu something. Oh, it probably says Kamuro Cho. Kamuro Cho. But uh, it's a theater of some sort. Theater Marin? Maron. Yeah, Marin, I guess. CC Bones, welcome to the stream. Can we get a exclamation mark konbanwa to CC Bones joining the show? Welcome in. Do you guys think I feel like this will be an entire gameplay series with entire episodes to <laughs> devoted to doing arcade games and trying restaurants? You know it will. You know it will. Oh my god. I'm so enthralled right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wish the camera would go. Maybe that's a setting. I like it when the camera goes towards where your camera is looking, not towards where your character is looking. Steaky. Pasta. Sarada ba. Salad bar, steak, and pasta. Nice. See, steaky is steak. Or steak. But then, uh, sticky is uh, handsome or good looking. So you kind of want to be careful about which of those you say to a waitress. Or waiter. Nakai. Welcome Goonie to the stream. We're playing Japanese Witcher. <laughs> We're playing Yakuza Kiwami 2. Onryo. I don't know what that. Oh, is that Onryu? Oh, I always get those. So it's like Only You, karaoke bar. Maybe it's like named after a song, Only You. He's saying, wait a second. Look at this. Look at this. Holy crap. Oh, a darts place? I wonder if you can play darts in the game. Oh, man. So that's a kanji for samurai. That says soba. So this must be like a soba shop. I guess it was. Yeah, it was a soba shop. The name of the place must have something to do with samurai. <laughs> Do you guys think you could accidentally call your waiter a steak? Or I meant to say, like, you might accidentally call them handsome. You might accidentally try to be saying, I want some steak, and you're saying, like, hey, handsome. <laughs> uh, which could be a, a problem or not, depending on how much you like your waiter. Hey, Goonie resubscribing and getting a cheer. That is a, a double event right there. Hold on, let's uh, save this real quick. There we go. And now, let's get... Some Voice of Nick love in that chat for the Goonie. Goonie, join in that chorus of Voice of Nick love if you so choose, because as a member of the Coffee Posse, you get a whole bunch of things on here, including the Voice of Nick emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams. You also have the handsome sub badge in front of your name, which has now upgraded as your ninth month into the handsomer nine month sub badge. Thank you so much to the Goonie for the continued support. It is very highly appreciated. And uh, guys, we have another thing right here because we have a cheer in there from the Goonie as well. Welcome in Goonie to the stream, coming in with the big uh, entrance of cheer resub. Very, very big entrance. Now let's get a voice of Nick voice in here. How about this one? How about this one right here? My name is Kamurocho Kenny. I am a city of Kamurocho from Yakuza. I walk around and all the people feel it as an earthquake when, when I walk around. So I kind of like have to stay still most of the time. 
uh, but whenever I whenever I like sneeze or something, millions millions of uh, ant, ants that live in in uh, Kamurocho, they will all fly into the air and then drop back down and like rain onto people's heads and then everybody has to take a big shower and get rid of all the ants. I don't know why it's just ants, but it's something to do with gravitational forces or something, I don't know. Anyway, don't make me sneeze. Is that pepper? Get that pepper out of here. That, that is, uh, that is, I guess that's Kamurocho Kenny. I don't think we've ever had a character who's an entire city before, so that's a new one. Let's get Kamurocho Kenny in here. Thank you to the Goonie for the cheer, it is highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse, verse, 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 verse. Thank you to the Goonie, it is highly appreciated. And uh, OT kept saying that's why it was raining ants all the time in this game. Exactly, that's why. Uh, now, let's jump back into Yakuza, although, I'm actually going to uh, give this a save, ladies and gents, because that's the end of our episode. Uh, Goonie, thank you for joining the stream. Thank you so much for the love. And there will be more shows coming up later today, but that's going to be it for today's show. Uh, this one's gone over by a little bit, actually. A little bit longer than the average uh, stream of late. So let's get a raid going on here. Now, guys, I'm going to post that raid message in the chat. Make sure that you get ready to copy that down. It says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. And if you copy that down, get ready to paste that right back on into our chat right here. We like to do what we call assembling our raiding party in our own chat, which means you want to paste that raid message in here. We're going to see what that raid will look like when we go into it later on in just a couple minutes. Now, uh, it is very highly appreciated when you join in with the raid by uh, pasting that message into the channel we go into. Uh, it does show that you're coming in with a raid. It shows that you're supporting the channel. So it's really, really highly appreciated if you're interested in coming in with a raid that you actually post the raid message in there. But you have a couple of minutes to get it copied down because if you don't know the channel you're watching, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see what is happening on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. Very happy to say that one. Now, if you like what you saw today, you want to see more, then up top you see a follower goal. Uh, hit that follow button, you'll contribute to that goal. But most importantly, you'll see more shows. You'll be able to be part of more streams. So join along if you haven't done so already. And the 26th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. It is called setting limits for your streams. And that one is gonna help you to establish what you are and are not comfortable talking about on your Twitch channel so that you uh, don't have to deal with that kind of, uh, you know, things that you might have to think about on the spot. Now, if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized. And it's been coming out for the last 26 weeks in a row, an entire half year of Twitch Playbook stuff. So there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, uh, if you like the channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have in all of the places, nobody. On the cheer leaderboards this week, we have in third place, Big Merit with 300 cheer. There's a purple level cheer. Thank you to Big Merit. Second place is Decap Bossman with 400 cheer. There's a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Decap Bossman. And first place, we have Emo Pavid with 500 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Emo Pavid. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here. Whether it is tweaking, improving, adding things to the Twitch streams you see in front of you, whether it is creating and posting content that goes on the social channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, whether it is 
uh, improving, adding things to the, the uh, di Discord or Wiki, whether it is writing, recording, posting all of the Twitch Playbook episodes, all of that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. Now let's see if we can find somebody to raid. Man, I could just play this game for basically 24 hours straight. If I was going to choose a 24-hour game, it would be Yakuza, I guess. But uh, I don't think that would be good for my uh, sleep patterns. Now let's see if we can find somebody to raid here, guys. The way we do raids on this channel, we always raid somebody who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series, so as not to see any information about games that we're currently playing or any games that we plan on playing in the future. So let's see what we can find. Oh man, I was gonna join somebody and then it turned out they were already hosting someone. But that's why we check. That is why we check. Now, let's see who is playing some stuff. We have a few people who are doing some cool stuff. Let's see if we uh, can jump in any of these. We have this one here. Once this ad is over in 10 seconds, we'll be able to actually see if we can, uh, can join it. But otherwise, there are a couple of them that we might join. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's take a look around. This one is not live at the moment, but there is another stream that might just be. So let's go take a look at that. And let's say hello to our friend, Listen, who is currently playing Subnautica, which we've actually never played on this channel, but I get the impression that it's not the kind of game that you can really get uh, a bunch of storyline info on if you're just watching a you know a little sliver of an episode. So let's all jump into that. Let's show Listen our support. We haven't seen Listen in a, a little while. So uh, make sure you post that raid message in as well. Once again, it is very highly appreciated if you post the raid message into the stream we go into. It'll show that you're coming in with a raid. It'll show that you're supporting the stream. So it's very much appreciated. And of course, we wanna get Listen all the love we can get. So make sure you post that message in there. Guys, I'll see you later today. We have one more video game stream coming up. But until then, happy 4th of July and happy Yakuza Kiwami 2 day. I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.